Good morning, hello, welcome to another Scratch My Pie video. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating um, the, a keyboard that's got the PS2 connection, like we used to have on computers, not USB, attached to an Arduino and playing tones. If I hit it now, You'll notice that when I play, when I press my note, my key, it will play the tune consistently until I press stop. So you can get the headphone a bit closer so you can hear it. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate um, how this works. So I just minimize that out of the way. I'm going to reopen the connection to the Arduino. Um, and why can't it open up? Got com 20. Just press there uh, and just. It is available. I don't know why I think it's not available. I'll just have to just unplug that. Unplug it in again. Sometimes it happens to my Arduino. And try it now. Oh, come on, you can find it. You can find it. Unplug it. Plug it in again. I've got con 20 there. And just press that. And because I'm recording, obviously, that's why it's not going to work, because I'm recording. That's just one of those stupid things about the internet. Let's try it again. Come 20. Ah, got it. Fantastic. Okay, so if I just press key Z. So what it's doing is, you'll see every time I put the letter in, Underneath uh, comes at 330, 349, and those are the tones of the um, to play the frequencies. So what I've done is I've defined um, a character array with my keys. Underneath it, corresponding tones at Z262, X294, C330, that's 440. The next two things, 8 and 3, they're the two pins, the clock pin and the data pin for the PS2 keyboard um, library. As we go down, we've got to begin the keyboard and 12 output parts for the speaker. And then here, we've got a nice, um, just read the keyboard available, uh, get the character C, print it off, and run the check, um, the check um, function. The check function just goes through if I get 32, that's my space bar, that stops it, no tone. Then it just runs through from 0 to 16 on the array. And then if it finds a symbol in the keys, it will then make the note from the frequency, just put the N and the N value. And then it'll play that, um, it'll play that note. Um, it's a nice little program. The check function is really useful on arrays, because we're comparing a note and then getting the other array to print off for you. Okay, thank you for watching and um, another one coming up soon.